Yes. Oh my god, he's gonna be awesome with Hu Tao. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am Malnox. Today, we're gonna be looking at the new Genshin Impact character demo, Toma. Blazing Defense. I'm really excited about Toma, guys. He's coming out with Hu Tao's rerun here during 2.2 on November. Second. At the time I'm recording this, we don't know who the other two on the banner are going to be, but we got Hu Tao and we got Toma. And that's really all you need. Let's get right to it, guys. Here, Toma. The way I see it, housekeeping is a unique skill set. Cleaning. I love that he's a maid. Are among my greatest strengths. I'm not from Inazuma originally. I forgot he's not from Inazuma. A Monstatter. particular about etiquette than Monstatters. On that note, he looks like he's from Monstat, though. You may have to coax it out of her. She's so polite, she doesn't always speak her mind. People whose attention is always focused on other people's weaknesses tend to... Oh, man. <laughs> yes. God, his attack string looks so cool. I love how acrobatic he is. I love that flipping around. Check this out. Oh, that kick, that shield. Ooh. Supporting fire. Yes. Oh my god, he's going to be awesome with Hu Tao. God, he's such a baddie. How about we go for a nice meal sometime? My treat, of course. All right, let's talk a little bit more about Toma, the protector from afar. So during that character demo, you heard the English voice actor Christian Bannis, and I absolutely love the life that he brings to Toma and has already brought to Toma throughout the story quest that we've seen of him so far in Inazuma. He's a polearm user and a pyro user. His skill set looks like it synergizes so well with Hu Tao. First off, that attack string again, it looks so cool. I love how he's spinning that spear around when he's going through the enemies, and his charged attack is the same as Hu Tao's. He dashes through with that little spin. His skill is called Blazing Blessing. Toma vaults forward with his polearm and delivers a flame filled flying kick that deals AoE pyro damage while also summoning a defensive Blazing Barrier. At the moment of casting, Toma's elemental skill applies pyro. Self. The damage absorption of Blazing Barrier scales off of Toma's max HP. It absorbs pyro damage 250% more effectively. And when a new Blazing Barrier is obtained, the remaining damage absorption of any existing Blazing Barrier will stack and the duration will be refreshed. The maximum damage absorption will not exceed a certain percentage of Toma's max HP. This is a skill not only does he deal damage to the enemies, but it also provides a shield, and that shield keeps stacking on itself every time he uses skill. There's some, some other ways that you guys are going to be able to get that Blazing Barrier, which we're going to talk about right now with his burst. The burst is called Crimson Uyoroi. Toma spins his polearm, slicing at his foes with Roaring Flame that deals AoE pyro damage and weave themselves into a Scorching Uyoroi. Scorching Uyoroi is in effect. The active character's normal attacks will trigger Fiery Collapse, which deals AoE pyro damage and summons a Blazing Barrier. Fiery Collapse can be triggered once every one second. And that blazing barrier that's summoned every time the fiery collapse is triggered every second while he's in his burst. And again, you can trigger that fiery collapse every second while he's in that crimson oryoi state of his burst, which means every second you can trigger another blazing barrier, which is going to stack on top of any blazing barriers are on you from that burst or even from his skill. He's going to be continually reapplying and re-upping the shield that you have on you. So you pair him up with Hu Tao. Not only is she going to be constantly shielded by that blazing barrier, which is amazing for Hu Tao, she's also going to be dealing additional AoE pyro damage with that fiery collapse every time she hits an enemy. There's definitely a reason that Toma is on Hu Tao's banner, because again, they work so well together. I really can't wait for November 2nd when I can finally get my hands on Toma and try this combo out for my now that you heard a little bit more about him, are you planning on pulling for him? Comment down below and let me know if you're going to pull him. Are you going for C6? Pretty sure I am. Guys, stick around because we got more coming out for you. Make sure if you're new here, you hit that subscribe button and like the video if you liked it. Some giveaways coming up in our Discord. Link down in the description below. Hop over there and join so you can partake in that. And we stream Genshin Impact on Twitch every Wednesday through Saturday, 10.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. That link's down in the description as well. We'd love to have you stop by. That's all we got for you now. Until next time, you stay legendary. Remember the sun will rise. We'll try again.